Hello, it's Ben for you from the DIY Homefront, and I've got a little improvement to my lawnmower. We're going to swap out some wheels. So, let's get into it. So, I put some new front tires on this lawnmower, which means I have a fairly good set of front wheels. And I'm going to put them on this lawnmower. Because gosh knows, those are some bald tires. Normally this would be about a five minute job, but we're going to do some improvements while we're at it. And here are part of those improvements. Sealed bearings. They will go inside of the rims and should make the tire spin pretty freely. And the way they fit in the rims is we take out the bushings and we replace them with the bearings. I'll start by trying to beat these bushings out with a small sledgehammer. And if that doesn't work, we'll move on to plan B. Looks like we're on to plan B, which is using a reciprocating saw and maybe a grinder. But first, let's try to get as much grease out as we can with the screwdriver and rag. The idea is to cut through the bushing, which eliminates all the pressure it's putting on the outside walls of where it's mounted to the rim. I've got a metal blade in my reciprocating saw, obviously because the bushing's metal. And I imagine I'll go through more than one blade to get the bushings out. There's one on each side of the rim, so I've got to cut through a total of four bushings to put the new bearings in. Once I cut through the bushing with the reciprocating saw, I'll use the grinder to cut the face of the bushing and finish out my notch. So I've turned the rim and tire over and I'm using that screwdriver and hammer again. And I'm just gonna keep beating it until that bushing comes out. And this is the actual amount of time it took to get this first bushing out. Well, the other three bushings took a little bit longer to get out, but I did it the same way. I used a reciprocating saw, the grinder, and then I just beat them out. I didn't really think about it before, but it looks like most of the grease that I've been putting in these rims with the grease gun has just been filling up the cavity between the two bushings in the center of the rim. I mean, that's where all the grease is. Another finger full. And another finger full. You see what I mean. One metal saw blade and 15 minutes later I got this other one out. There we go. Whew. So after wiping this rim down really good it was time to remove the other tire from the lawnmower. And it looked like I had an unwanted guest. So to get the front tires off you're going to need to remove the dust cap and then you're going to need to pop the e-clip and pull the washers off and then the rim should just slide right out with the tire on it. So if you had a whole new tire and rim and we weren't doing the bushings, you'd be done right now because you would have already pushed the other tire back on, put the e-clip and stuff back on and removed it from the jack. However, we're going to put the power steering kit on this lawnmower. So we need to take off this bolt that holds part of the steering linkage in place. And that will let me drop down the front axle so we can put the bearings in. The top of the axle is just like the wheels. There's a dust cover and then there's an e-clip and then a couple of washers. I had to go online and actually look this part up so I knew what they called it. But what we're doing is we're taking the spindle off. They call that whole assembly that the wheel mounts to and that has the hardware for the steering, they call that the spindle. Here's the second improvement. This is the power steering kit. It's a bearing that's sandwiched between two stainless steel washers and goes on that spindle. And we'll get the bearings packed full of grease before we put it on the spindle. Now that the spindle's all greased up and we've slid that bearing package on it, we will slide this back up and put the e-clip on. And here's where I ran into a problem. 
there wasn't enough room to put a washer and the e-clip on the top of the spindle once I had put that bearing pack on. And I tried two or three times, so I, I know I wasn't missing anything. So I figured out a solution if you should try this and you have the same problem I did. I'll put information on the bearings for the wheels and the bearings that they call the power steering kit in the video description if you're interested. Okay, you got the idea that I couldn't get it to work. Let's show you the solution. You're seeing right. I chose just to use a grinder and grind some of the cast iron off the top. I thought it would be a lot more difficult than it was, but the cast iron ground down a lot quicker and easier than I thought it would. It took two or three passes because I didn't want to take any more than I needed to off. But after just a little bit of effort, there was plenty of room to put a washer and that e-clip on. I always have the same thought when I'm putting these e-clips on. Please don't fly off someplace I can't find you. There's still the bolt to put on that holds that portion of the steering assembly in place. So we still need to put some grease in this grease fitting. And my other lawnmower is older and it doesn't have the same steering setup. I'm not sure why, but there's nothing there that needs to be greased. You'll also need to put grease into where the spindle connects to the axle. I tried to film it, but I don't know if you can really tell that there's grease coming out of that, of that bottom area. It just looks fuzzy. Okay, we've got to get these sealed bearings inside of these rims before we can put the tire onto the spindle. So, I will do that by gently tapping them in. There's a washer that goes on before the wheel goes on. And then there's the washer, e-clip, and dust cover that goes on after the wheel is in place. I can't get over what a big difference these sealed bearings make on the tire. The weight of the valve stem by itself seems enough to cause the wheel to want to spin. If we weren't doing any additional work, like replacing the bushings with sealed bearings or adding the so-called power steering kit, we would have been done a long time ago. It doesn't take much effort at all if you're going to end up purchasing a tire already on a rim to just swap the two out. The dust cover, the e-clip, and boom, you put the tire on and off, and then you go about your business. I didn't get it on video, but I also put the dust covers that went on top of the axle. And I went ahead and completed the other side, so the mower is done. All right, it looks like we're wrapping up this one. We've got two new front wheels and what some would call poor man's power steering for a lawnmower. Well, until next time, like, subscribe, check out the playlist, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.